It's acting like a gravity well. But where's it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like... Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. Watch your f fingers. There might be traps. I'm not detecting any. I've made that mistake before. Huh. Well, if the remnant aren't using it... I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... A conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Got anything? There's Element Zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would take. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault. But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. Now that's interesting. Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, at most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data patterns they... Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down here. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. It can't be too risky for her with everything turned off, right? My this gravity well's sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our sorry friend. Well, look at this. No way through, no interface points. Hm. Sam, note it down for later. No interface connectivity detected. The barrier cannot be removed manually. Too bad. Com check, it's, well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. Locked. She seems good at taking care of herself.
they dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. I keep thinking someone's watching us. Let's stay focused. We can worry after we find the system locked down. So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. Looks like storage space. It's dead. Nothing. It's industrial. Part of the construction?
everything's massive and beautiful. for an atmosphere processor? What is this place? Another aqueduct. This liquid is everywhere. If it really is like Omnigel, that fluid could be what's keeping this place going. What are those pyramids? They must be huge. Some things down here work, and some don't. Perhaps to direct and assist manual reactivation of the vault, or to mislead intruders. Great.
shoot at me. I'll try it with one of those data patterns we saw. Is that a good idea? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. Let's not. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Be another gravity well? only glimpse into another civilization. Too bad we have to keep destroying them. They must be fighting for a reason. All these mysteries. Something big is happening in Andromeda Rider. Something magnificent. Let's find that system lockdown. Okay. Let's hit both those consoles and complete the circuit. of defenses, if they're defenses. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Barely any dust. How 
old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? A gauntlet. Or maybe a hand tool. Our scientists will love it either way. Crap. The conduit sprang a leak. Right over the console. If you try interfacing, you'll burn your hands off. And no fluid means... Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. It's breached. Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And received. I'll give them a shot. The system's responding to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work. If it's fixed, that console should work now. Like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. Let's see if we powered up a way out of here. They didn't want anyone getting through here easy. Watch your step. It's still a long drop. Wait. Plants. All the way down here. That's... strange. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The planet's a wasteland, but maybe they're just hardy. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close.
the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Looks like a side room. Still, could be anything in here. Uh, could we not? It'll be fine. Hate this. Hate it. See? Absolutely fine. Ah! Damn it! It's okay. It's fine. Stop saying fine. Let's just get out of here. Observers coming up at us! Observers flying around a waterfall like a flock of birds. It's amazing. This really is their habitat. We'll be out of their way soon. But not too soon, right? You wouldn't believe the data I'm getting. Hydraulics compensating. Oh, almost lost my footing. Two gravity wells down already, and this place goes even deeper. What's at the bottom? Let's not find out the hard way. Ryder, I think I got it. This relic is some kind of data storage device. What's on it? Poor remnant back here.
Imagine this place full of people. It could fit the whole Nexus. Look at all those data patterns. It's practically a library. You're kidding. I'm looking at it right now. And I went the other way. Data recovered. A phrase that seems analogous to atmospheric conditions. Atmosphere again. We're on the right track. Severe data corruption. Unable to recover information. Data corruption. Unable to translate. Data recovered. These fragments appear to be from system reports generated by the vault. However, I do not recognize most of the systems described. I detect no additional glyphs in the area. I'm getting better at this.
I would have really loved this place. Nothing hooked him like the unknown. Someday, Sarah could be exploring down here. this technology uh, just uh, waiting sleeping feel that this whole platform's resonating with something we must be close
Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. 
Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good. surface reconnection. Come on! Warp restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that... field? 
I know a trap when I see one. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Something happened. Because we restarted the system? If that light is us, then... All these points could be vaults in other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? This tech can create observers from nowhere, or ravage a whole planet. And that's just what we've seen. The bots, those plants back there, the atmosphere processors. I once did supply runs for a council team that was seeding some ice planet's atmosphere trying to melt the ice caps. To help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. A foothold. That's all we need. Just enough to begin. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. It changes whole planets. Let's go slow. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. I don't know. We're a team. You like working solo. Sure, but we don't have to be joined at the hip to solve all this. Come on. Alright. Pack what you need and... Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well, this will be interesting. <laughs> for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen. Above normal radiation levels.
Pathfinder. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Radiation levels normal. Ryder, about time you joined the party. Think I made them angry? Good. Telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is where we'll build our new outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? I say scientific. Aren't we here to explore? I say military. There's too many threats out here. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully.
Prioritize research and discovery. That's our foundation. And our future. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder, Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. Copy that. Outpost blocked inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Prodromos. That's what we're calling her. They're eager. I haven't seen Eager for months. Eos is far from golden, but now it's a producer. A real and reasonable first step. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The reality, Ryder? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. Watch out for everyone. But not you, right? You're genuine. I know what I came here to be. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Life support is back online.
Pathfinder. A word with you? Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Sounds useful. Good thinking, Mitney. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder. collecting moisture readings. It's just what you need after a long day. 